Hello my friends and welcome back to another Super Mario Maker 2 video. In today's video, we're going to be diving into the weird, wild, and wonderful world of Uno Moss levels. In a past video, I've shown off a few of these Uno Moss levels, but the entirety of today's video is going to be dedicated to these wacky creations. If you have no idea what an Uno Moss level is, well strap in friends, you're about to see some unique things in Mario Maker 2. Let's go ahead and fire up today's video. Now, of course, after that lengthy introduction, we're not even starting out with an Uno Moss level. We're actually going to take a look at a level called DGR Steals Your Versus Win Simulator by Dank Drew. This is a level I've wanted to play for a while, but I forgot about it. And it's a callback to when this moment happened when I was playing multiplayer versus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty epic and brutal at the same time. So Dank Drew created this level that kind of harkens back to that moment. Let's go ahead and play it. So again, DGR steals your versus wind simulator. We're just supposed to hold B here. So I'm just going to hold B. Okay, yeah, you do have to jump. <laughs> That is still one of my favorite multiplayer versus moments. I'm sorry it had to happen at the expense of Drew, who's a good friend, but uh, that was a that was a very good, brought back some good memories. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Drew. The first legitimate Uno Moss level we're taking a look at today is called Hungry Hungry Yoshi by Pulse. Let's go ahead and uh, fire this one up. Okay, here we go. Reach the goal after grabbing at least 30 coins. Here's Yoshi. Okay. What just happened? <laughs> so like I said, if you're new to Uno Moss levels, pre be prepared to see some janky, weird physics and anomalies within Mario Maker because that's what Uno Moss levels are. They're very short, usually under 10 second levels that showcase really, really weird things. They normally don't get a lot of spotlight because they're so short but they show off some crazy, crazy things. I want to take a look at that one more time. All right, I'm going to be specifically watching the shell down there as I eat the coins. That's so weird. It like, it like messes with the springs dropping out of the red pipe. So normally the red pipe is super fast to drop out uh, items. I don't know. Very, very strange indeed. Next up, we're going to take a look at Snowball Yeet by hack -a cat Here we go with Snowball Yeet. This is Super Mario Brothers 3 style. Um, okay, we have a snowball, and it looks like there is a key inside the piranha plant. So let's just... Hmm. Huh. So what is the key to doing this? Interesting. Am I supposed to get really close to the... Nope, that's not right. Okay, you can't go up the red pipe, so it's definitely got to be, maybe if I... Interesting. All right, so I've been on this level for about five minutes, and I'm trying to understand. It's got to be something with the one way. It's got to be something with the one way. Uh, because there's no reason it's just the one way is just randomly there. We got to get this snowball in perfect position. You'll hear it lock into place like that. Now, <laughs> that did nothing for me, but it's, wait, maybe I jump on it. No. A little longer than a few minutes later. I've been playing this for a half hour, dude. I've been playing it for a half hour. That was so awesome. Mm. Trying to do it one more time. I don't know. We did it once. I'll play it back in slow motion. Or I may already have in the video, but that. Oh, 
Wow, that was that was the hardest Uno Moss level I've played in terms of figuring out what to do. The next Uno Moss level we're gonna take a look at is called Fat Man Turns His Life Around by Bearware. Let's go ahead and fire this one up. If I had to guess, this one's gonna involve the Mega Mushroom, but how it's going to use it is what I'm most intrigued by. Oh no, it's not. Okay. What do I, so there's a hint somewhere. How do, what, do I, oh. Wait, what? What? Okay, wait, there's a hint up here. Let's take a look at the hint. See what exactly is going on here. Okay, what's the hint? Okay, there's a hint up in this pipe. Grab mush and turn around. Hmm, okay. Grab the mush and turn around. Okay, I, I think I can handle that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I definitely, I definitely messed something up there. Let, what is going on with that box there? Let's try again. All right, what's going on with this box? I just now notice it. Okay, there's just a coin in it. But I think we want to turn like that. No. No, I think I'm just gonna wiggle my joystick as fast as I can when I grab the mushroom and hopefully it clips us through. All right, get ready to commence the wiggling. <laughs> the wiggle technique, the wiggle technique worked. I don't know how I, you know, when you were technically supposed to turn around, but the wiggle technique Worked out, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's take a look at another Bearware Uno Moss called I Am Speed. What do we got? I'm guessing, I was gonna say, probably has something to do with the uh, boost panels. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> it looks like Mario's having some explosive, um, Diarrhea, if you will. Mario, I don't know what Mario ate. Mario must have ate one too many big bean burritos or something, dude. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> this is the best. Oh my gosh. I, I can't believe I've never seen this before. So I've never seen Mario on a boost panel while crouched. Very interesting. As I said, Uno Moss levels showcase weird, wonderful, and wacky things in Mario Maker 2, and I think you're starting to get an idea of uh, why that is. Next up, let's take a look at Early Delivery by Buckaroo. Okay, so what do we have? It is Mario 3. We have a shell mitt. We have some doors. Uh... So the goal is definitely behind these, uh, the launcher and the uh, Unbreak well they these are breakable blocks, but how do we Hmm, so I'm curious if there's a way to somehow lift up the launcher But even then I wouldn't be able to be lifted too much to the point where I Could grab the goal. I hmm. How do I want to do this one? So I don't know if I want to be holding a shell Hmm, what is the key here? Do I want to be wearing a shell? Oh, I was slightly riding the shell there. Okay, maybe that's not right. Wait a second. Wait, what? Wait, what? It put a sh- Wait, what? Slow-mo that again! We did it! Let's go! That was awesome. Wait, let's see if I can do that again. Okay, you gotta hit it right when... For some reason, I thought the goal was... Let me try this again. Okay, I did it! I, I don't know how I did it, but we did it, and we got the ending. That was crazy. The shell, like, somehow went through inaccessible parts of the level and came out on top. That was crazy. The next Uno Moss is One Way's Work by Basilicum. Let's go ahead and fire this one up. I'm really hoping you guys are seeing the creativity and you know ingenuity that goes into these levels from the creators that have found 
how these one ways work. Okay, we were not supposed to go through there. We were not supposed to. You you are not supposed to be able to go through a one way that's blocking you. Ah, how does this work? Um, okay, wait, do I want to, <laughs> wait, do I want to be, how do I want to do this? Uh, how does this work? <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is so Oh man, this game! This game, Nintendo! You have uh, outdone yourself, friends. This is just madness! I think it's safe to say uh, one ways are are broken, friends. I think it's safe to say one, <laughs> one ways are in fact broken. Okay, so what is this now? Oh, okay, we need to have the mushroom. Wait. Okay, 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 so we don't- Okay, we just want to have a mushroom and not the fire flower, and something... ...should work here. <laughs> like, oh my gosh! They're not necessarily glitches, or they- they're kind of glitches, but it's more just the craziness and the jankiness that's found in Mario Maker 2. These creators have spent so much time making levels and just investigating the game that they've come across these crazy discoveries and they're sharing them with us in these forms of these Uno Moss levels. Next up is I Have Been In This Pipe Before by Dank Drew. We took a look at one of Dank Drew's earlier levels, but it wasn't Uno Moss. So this time, this is an actual Uno Moss level. Here we go, what do we do? Got a coin block there. I'm just gonna hit all the coins. Go through the door. Okay. Okay. There's some weird screen scrolling going on right now. I don't know what it is, but looks like we have to go down the pipe. Going all the way over here. No music makes it kind of... Okay. Interesting. So we're going back to where the pipe was, and I'm guessing this is going to take us somewhere completely different. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense whatsoever. I want to take a look at this one again. Let me, let's just take a look at something really quick. Down the pipe, how far do we have to go? Do we just have to off screen the pipe? And will it take us to somewhere else? Or do we have to go far enough away? What? What was that? One more experiment. This time I'm not gonna off screen the pipe at all. I'm just gonna come out the pipe and then go back in the pipe. What the heck, dude? Drew! What on earth? How does... You can't have layered pipes anymore in Mario Maker 2. How does that work? <laughs> Excuse me while I rinse off my brain a little bit. It's kind of mushy right now. <laughs> Next we have Uno Moss, A Step in the Air by Juju. Let's go ahead and fire it up. So we have to reach the goal after grabbing the 110 coin. So let's, okay. So it looks like we have to fall and somehow jump in mid air. Uh, I don't know how exactly this works. Uh, hmm, I wonder if we want to be going full tilt and we can like corner clip and jump. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. I'm sorry for the excessive use of slow motion in this video, but I think we need to see that in slow motion. We're not even actually touching the coin. If you look closely, we're not even touching the coin. Yet it's giving us credit that we grabbed the 10-bagger. When in actuality, 
We didn't. Now we're gonna take a look at an Uno Moss by Oatism called Seemingly Useless. Let's uh, go ahead and fire this one up. Here we go with Seemingly Useless. A lot of Uno Moss levels I have found are SMB1 style, which <laughs> is pretty crazy. Uh, what's this door for? Let's check the door. Hint. This isn't SMW. So what does that mean? We can't spin jump. S Super Mario World, the biggest difference is you can spin jump. So I just got to run? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. What I think that hint's trying to tell us, in Super Mario World, you can spin jump by using the trigger. So I'm going to hold one of them in and run off and see if this... <laughs> what on earth that was it that was it if you hold what would normally be spin jump in super mario world and run off the ledge i don't know if that's giving you more speed or distance or how that works but it works it's just very thought provoking you run off the edge without holding the triggers you don't have enough speed run off the edge holding the triggers and you have enough speed like it does seem seemingly useless, but I'm sure there are uses for it. I mean, it let us beat this level, so it was useful enough to help us get a completion. All right, let's look at Invisible Bowsers by Wilfred. Wilfred makes some of my favorite uh, troll levels within the game, so I'm interested what this Invisible Bowser thing is all about. We're getting a lot of no's here. Can we, can we literally beat the level? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I I mean we did it right in the fact that we beat the level but I didn't showcase the uno moss let's uh let's go back and try that again okay this time I'm gonna actually go down the pipe like I'm instructed to do so what Wait, what? Let me look at that again. So as you can tell, now you see it. Now you do. Oh, tricky, Wilfred. So you can't see it. You notice that there's some tracks there. So what I'm thinking is that the boos kind of create like a curtain, if you will. And then the Bowsers fall from somewhere off screen and land on the tracks. And the boos kind of, like I said, are a curtain or a blanket and it covers it up. <laughs> That's that's unique. I like it. We have time for a few more Uno Moss levels. Let's take a look at another one made by Pulse called Lag Detector. So this is Super Mario World style. I don't remember if we played a Super Mario World Uno Moss level yet today. Uh, but apparently this this can test whether you're carrying a power up or not. I don't. Okay, wait, what? So as you can tell. We have a fire flower and it's not triggering the on off switch, but if we take damage. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Global. Excuse me, sir. I don't the more I play Mario Maker 2 the more I don't understand it <laughs> all right wrapping things up the last Uno Moss level we're gonna play is called Uno Moss the invisible coin let's fire this one up and uh hope we finish off with a bang all right Shanna what do you bring into the table with this invisible coin shenaniganery what do we have to do here okay so we have to reach the goal after getting at least one coin Okay. Okay, there's the one coin. How do we get it? Maybe I need to put. Ah, no! No, no, well, it's over. It's over because I don't have a power up. <laughs> Any. Wait! Oh! <laughs> what? on earth so your first thought is when you go to this you got to search around for this coin right no 
You literally just have to go back through the pipe. Oh my gosh, I don't get it. How is the coin not there originally? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. Very beginning. How is there no coin here? How is there no coin there until we come back through the pipe? Nip, nip. Nip, nip. Nip. I don't understand. <laughs> Not that anything is surprising to me anymore. This creators in this game have blown my mind too many times to count, but I don't know, man. It's just so it's it's just crazy. It's just crazy. All right, I lied. Uno Moss to one more Uno Moss level called WTH by Whack Lion. Let's uh let's try this one out. Uno Moss levels are so addicting because they show off crazy things in Mario Maker 2 and are so sure. So it's oh man, I just want to keep playing more and more Uno Moss levels. What? <laughs> what on earth is going on here? All right, I need to look at that one one more time. So if we want to beat the level, we just have to go through there. But there's no fun in that. We want to go through the fun door. Look at this. Look at that. We're throwing it, but it's... It's like... <laughs> I, I don't get it. I don't get it. How many times have I said I don't get it in this video? Leave that in the comments below. Who's ever right will get a cookie. We got to finish things off though. Let's uh, at least beat the level here. Let's go through the door and, and beat the level. <laughs> All right. That was good. That was really good. All right. I really got to cut myself off. Give myself a limit. I think we've, we've played enough Uno Moss levels to make for a good episode but I'm really hoping you guys want to see an episode two. I have a second favor to ask for you guys to leave in the comment section below. I absolutely love taking a look at these Uno Moss levels. So if you want to see another Uno Moss level showcase down the road, please let me know in the comments below. It would really, really help me out. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this episode. All the levels that I played in today's episode will be in the description below. So if you guys want to have your mind blown on your own, feel free to check them out and check out their creators in general. They're all making really fantastic levels. As I said, I really wanted to focus an entire episode on these Uno Moss levels because they're showing off the janky, beautiful mess of a game Nintendo has made. We all love Mario Maker 2, and these crazy things that happen make me love it even more. So yeah, big shout outs to all the creators. I hope you will keep the Uno Moss levels coming my way. I look forward to playing more of them. But we're gonna wrap things up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, Take care.